It was certainly the hottest fashion show South Florida has ever seen. The House of Chanel premiered its spring-summer collection on South Beach last night with an extravagant production you'd expect to see only on the runways in Paris or New York. People from all over packed big-time studios to get this one-time-only look at the fabulous fashions, an event benefiting the Miami City Ballet. I think it's terrific. I think it's a wonderful statement. It's a wonderful statement. We are thrilled. The zoo should be thrilled. I think Miami Beach should be thrilled, and Miami should be thrilled. The look for the spring and summer is sassy. For daytime and playtime, lots of colorful crop jackets shown with fitted and flared solid black short skirts. The power suit is back for the businesswoman in a very feminine way. Lots of color and again, hiked up hemlines. And yes, those high, high heels are back. Everything isn't always black and white, but this crisp combination certainly works. On the weekend, it's footloose and fancy free with fun and frilly dresses and, oh yes, those dreaded bikinis. Remember, you only have just a few months to look like her. Mm, yeah. Those who attended this fashion fest also did some celebrity watching. Gloria and Emilio Estefan and John Sakata showed up to check out the styles. I have many things of Chanel. They had the semis and I don't fit in any of my Chanel's yet. You look gorgeous. I will again, though. Supermodel Cindy Crawford took a break from the runway, joining the audience. She arrived with William Baldwin, her co-star in the movie Fair Game, shooting in town. Cindy didn't look thrilled by the mob of photographers and paparazzi pouncing on her, while Baldwin seemed to enjoy it all. <laughs> We're just here. We just want to watch the show. Did you think South Florida's got some fashion industry here, or what's the story, huh? Oh, yeah, you guys are taking over. When I was in doing commercials and print stuff back in, like, 84, 85 is when it all first started happening, and now it's going to be exciting. This star-filled spectacle was a hit for the audience, including the celebs who now see South Florida as a prime location for the international fashion world to strut its stuff.